you know I'm an ordained minister. Oh, are you? Oh I'm, my gosh, have- don't even do this. My stomach just sank, so I was like, wait, <laughs> is this happening right now? Yes, this is. Oh, is that- feel it- <laughs> oh those are my ear pots. <laughs> oh my gosh, I felt his pocket, and I thought I felt a ring box, and it was his AirPods. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you again. I love- not here, but, but Chris, you'll be called. <laughs> I love that we just zinged her and didn't even try to. Unbelievable. That's such a Caitlin thing. Unbelievable. Okay, so this is too good not to explain. I mean, what are the chances? We're on national television. Caitlin reaches to my pocket in no joke. I had an ear pod case. Now what I was wearing was a nice shirt up top and below I was wearing sweatpants and I still had my ear pod case, how ironic, in my left pocket. So that when she touched my pocket, it did feel like a ring case. Now here's the story behind that actually. Have to explain it further. So ironically enough, the show had asked me if I would be willing to propose. There was no absolute no pressure. She said, hey, do you want this opportunity to propose? And I personally made the decision myself without even going to Caitlin, just saying, you know, this is part of Caitlin's history. It's a story and it's a chapter that led us to where we are today. We're both so thankful for the show. Without the show, our paths would have never crossed. We would never be with each other today. We would never have the two beautiful boys that we have that we rescued, Golden Retrievers. So our history is what brings us here today. But I did not want our story, our exciting next chapter, being an engagement to be aligned in the same exact show that is bringing us back five years ago. Those doors are closed, right? That coffin has been nailed shut. It's over, it's made Caitlin who she is. Without the show, we wouldn't be here today and we are so forever grateful for the show. But it is hilarious because I told Caitlin before the show, before we filmed, hey, I want you to know, This was the scenario. They brought the option to me. I personally declined it. Here's why I declined it. Caitlin, immediately, before I even could get the words out, I declined. I was like, you better have said no, right? We both just agreed this wasn't the right time uh, or narrative to be telling our next part of our story. But the fact that obviously your nerves are heightened, you're filming, you don't know what's going on. Chris Harrison says, we have a surprise that's gonna change your life. How do I have my ear pod case literally in my pocket? Caitlin grabs it and is like, oh, And that was completely legitimate. That was as authentic as it gets. I think she might have thought I was doing like a reverse psychology on her, explaining to her why I declined that option. But that is the truth behind it. Let's keep the film rolling here so you can see the full clip. And we will be packing our bags and heading to LA for a short period of time to go get Caitlin that mirror ball. So super exciting stuff, but had to explain that just a little bit further to give it more context. In all seriousness, I do have a very, very real question for you, Caitlin. Okay. And this is a question I am so excited to ask you because, well, your life is about to change. What? And I'm not joking. Do you know about that? Mm -hmm. I just got goosebumps. Caitlin, will you be on the next season of Dancing with the Stars? I'm dead serious. Okay, play it cool, Caitlin, play it cool. Oh. Are you serious? Chris. Oh, I'm shaking. God. Oh my gosh. Chris, I'm gonna cry. Oh my, I feel like this is back to the moment. Let's go. I feel like this is back to the moment where you told me I was the bachelorette and I'm like, <laughs> That is the last thing I thought in the world you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna ask me to take over your job. I was, I don't know, that was like the last thing. I have two kids I have to put through college. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm literally freaking out. Is that a yes? Cause I need a yes or no. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, I am so honored to say yes. Well and then congratulations. And- you will be on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> You're going to crush it. And uh, thank you for being a part of our family. 
Um, obviously, your season has gone down in history, one of the most iconic seasons, and the reason is it's you. To you, NJ, I wish you guys the very best. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, congratulations, Caitlin. Thank you for having us and for always being so supportive. I love you. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Come on. That is how you put a bow on Caitlin's season of The Bachelorette. It doesn't get any better, any more pure than that. So at Restart, we talk all the time about rethinking, refreshing, reacting, resetting, restarting. And when you think about making your dreams a reality, tonight is just such a perfect example. It was five years ago after Caitlyn's season that she was this close to Dancing with the Stars. She had the contract. She was for sure going to go on. That was her dream. She didn't pursue college because she pursued dancing professionally and also as a teacher. Her mother was a professional dancer, and to go on this show was a dream. That was taken from her. She was this close to being on. They made a decision at that time that they didn't want their talent going on Dancing with the Stars anymore, and that it would make more sense for her to focus on her relationship. Five years later, five years later, after being the lead of The Bachelorette, doing something no one's done, Usually someone that comes off the show, goes immediately into Dancing with the Stars, has extreme relevancy. No one in a million years, Kate, million years, even Caitlin herself thought, I think, that she could get on Dancing with the Stars. But she put it out there. She told her story full circle through this crazy time of COVID-19. As a result of that, repurposing her season. And here she is, making her dream come true going on this next season of Dancing with the Stars. It is an awesome story of restarting, resetting, and accomplishing a goal you always had a dream of doing. So with this story, I actually want to challenge you guys. Send me your story. I want to hear about your restarting, rethinking, reacting, refreshing, realigning, and what you did to accomplish a goal you never thought you could have, but you always dreamed of. Please send your stories to restart at jasontardic.com. That's restart at jasontardic.com. We're going to listen to them, and we are going to repurpose them and share your story with everyone watching. So congratulations again to Caitlin. We'll all be cheering for you. I'll be sitting there front row going nuts. Let's get that mirror ball. And for everyone out there, following and part of the Restart community, I wanna hear your story of success and so does everyone else. So send it in, we're gonna repurpose it, replay it, and just keep achieving wellness within our personal, professional, and financial life.